We'd like to quickly describe some of the mixer's unique features that'll help you get the most from it. First, we'll insert a Brit Strip plugin into channel 1. This is a DSP plugin, therefore the latency is non-appreciable, so perfect for recording. You can also load any third-party plugin into the AUX channels for monitoring purposes. Any VST3 plugin will work. So in this case, we are using the HA240 Gold Foil Reverb. Only for headphone setup, so Victoria can feel more confident while singing. The AUX effects can be applied pre or post. As for the DAW's routing, you have the option to select two tracks per input, one track for the dry, unprocessed signal, and another for the wet, processed signal. You also have a channel to route the sound that comes from your computer onto the mixer. For example, you can load a YouTube video and use it as a reference for the singer. It will appear on the loopback channel in the mixer. This can also be very useful for podcasting. Now we are going to use channel 2 to record guitar. Insert the small recording amp plugin into the channel slot and adjust the levels. Select two tracks for this input, input two for the dry, unprocessed signal, and another, input four, for the wet, processed signal. Our mixer conveniently allows us to print dry and wet signals simultaneously into the DAW. Once printed, you can easily recall your preset from any DSP plugin and use it in its native format inside your DAW by simply copying it onto the dry signal tracks. This is great for fine tuning and final adjustments of the track while mixing. As you can see, the mixer is a very powerful environment that can greatly help you achieve the results you're after.